Today I want to talk about a low-cost Wi-Fi 6 PC card. As Wi-Fi 6 is reasonably new, I wanted to see if this adapter card would be able to take advantage of the new standard. Stay tuned for the rest of this video if you're interested in seeing the difference and learning more about this low-cost adapter. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and click that notifications icon so you'll be notified of any new content. So let's quickly look at the hardware that comes in the box and then we can start putting this thing through its paces. Um, we'll give it some speed tests um, from my test system and then we can benchmark the difference between Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 5 so we can kind of see if there's if this hype is kind of reflective of the actual everyday performance. So looking at what comes in the box, you get two antennas. You get a low profile bracket, which I always appreciate because it's uh, some of my systems are low profile. You get a driver disc, a uh, instruction card, get a cable to connect the USB to Bluetooth, get screws, screwdrivers, and of course the card itself. Um, the card itself actually looks pretty good as far as uh, quality build. I was very impressed with the way they actually put this thing together. Um, it seems to be extremely well built and seems uh, to be uh, the workmanship seems to be pretty high quality. So we'll see how this thing works when we put it in the system. Given the cost, it seems to be, um, you know, overall a good value. So let's see how it works. One of the things that always bothers me is having to load proprietary drivers. I realize it's often necessary, but the first thing that I do when evaluating a device is whether or not it's automatically recognized from system drivers or whether or not I need to load, you know, extra drivers. Like many other devices, drivers are automatically installed, but only if you are already connected to the internet. So you either have to download the drivers from their website, use the CD, or temporarily connect with another connection to get these drivers. To keep the testing as accurate as possible, I use this adapter for both the Wi-Fi 5 access point and the Wi-Fi 6 access point. I ran the test uh, for the Wi-Fi 5 on my Unify AC Pro and a Wi-Fi 6 uh, access point for the Wi-Fi 6 results. Keep in mind that my current AP Pro that I'm using for the Wi-Fi 5 is a 3x3 MIMO, whereas the uh, test AP that I'm running is a 2x2 MIMO. So you'll see a moderate difference or a difference between the two, at least on paper. We'll see how that translates into real life. Um, we'll be testing the card against both access points using speedtest.net, iperf, and the traditional file copy using a 1.6 gigabyte file to establish the actual data throughput. As you can see from the speedtest.net results, there's a significant difference in bandwidth speed. The Wi-Fi 6 connection is effectively maxing out my internet connection, giving me much the same as internet performance as my wired connection, while my current AP running the Wi-Fi 5 is running around 280 megabits per second. Next, let's take a look at the results from iPerf. Here again, the difference between the Wi-Fi 5 and the Wi-Fi 6 is, is showing up with a significant difference between the two. Um, and again, remember that this is um, the Wi-Fi 6 is actually a 2x2 MIMO, so it technically has less bandwidth. But it's doing extremely well, and the performance is looking really good. Now moving on to the file copy. Um, let's look at the results here. The file copy is one of the toughest things on Wi-Fi. Um, we can see a, a significant difference in performance with the Wi-Fi 6, but basically both are pretty slow uh, overall. Running large files through Wi-Fi has always been problematic, and here we can see the results of that, you know, of that particular test. But at the end, the Wi-Fi 6 is still significantly faster. Despite having less channels, it's still faster. So true Wi-Fi performance is difficult to measure, and there's so many variables. So your actual performance may be different based on things like distance, number of devices, interference. But hopefully, based on this testing, you can see the actual difference between Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 5. It's definitely there.
Overall, I'm really impressed with the upgrade to Wi-Fi 6, and I'm looking forward to more products being out there, you know, maybe some higher performance cards, uh, more choices in routers and access points once they're available. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you, if you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and click to the notification icon so you'll be notified of any new content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.